Hi guys! Grade 4 math naman tayo. Parts are 4. Module 4, lesson 1. Ang lesson 1 natin is collecting data on two variables using any source. Mag-define muna tayo ng mga terms. So, meron tayo ditong variables. Ano yung variables? Variables is any characteristics or data, numbers, or quantity that can be counted or measured such as age, sex, class grades, color, and many more. Ano naman yung data? Ang data is a collection of facts such as numbers, words, measurements, or just description of things. Meron tayong example dito. So, Anthony has a small chicken poultry in his backyard. He collected and counted the number of eggs he was able to gather from Monday to Friday on first week and a second week. He tallied the data in gathered on a table below. So, si Anthony daw is meron siyang maliit na poultry sa likod ng kanilang bahay. So, kinokolekta niya ang mga egg sa first week at second week. From Monday to Friday. So, ngayon, isi-compare natin ang kanyang na-collect sa first and second week from Monday to Friday. Meron tayo ditong data, chicken eggs gathered for first and second week. Okay. So, dito is day. Ang day natin is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Number of eggs, ito yung first week, ito yung second week. So, sa Monday, ang number ng egg is 25. Sa second week, sa first week, 25. Sa second week is 30. Sa Tuesday naman, ang number sa first week is 30. Sa second week is 25. Yung nakuha niya na egg. And then sa Wednesday, uh, sa first week is 28 eggs. Sa second week, ang nakuha niya is 28 eggs din. So, pareho lang. Sa Thursday naman, ang nakuha niya sa first week is 30. Ang nakuha niya sa second week is 35. Sa Friday, ang nakuha niya sa first week is 35. At ang nakuha niya sa second week is 33. Ngayon, intindihin natin ang ating data dito. Tapos, um, sasagutan natin ang mga questions para maintindihan natin ang ating data. So, ito yung kanyang um, table. Nakatali sa kanyang table yung mga eggs na nakuha niya from Monday to Friday sa first week at second week. Now, yes, sa question number one, how many variables of the given data? So, ilang variables meron tayo sa binigay na data? Saan pa ang variables dito? Ito at saka ito. So, ibig sabihin dalawa yung variables natin, ang first week at ang second week. So, that's why there are two variables. Question number two, what are the two variables? Okay, so nakita natin kanina ang ating two variables. The two variables are the eggs gathered on the first and second week. So, again, ito yung dalawang variables natin, ang egg na nag sa first week at ang egg na nag sa second week. Now, sa question number three, how did Anthony organize the collected data? So, ga, paano niya inorganize ang kanyang na-collect na data? He tallied the data on a table. So, gaya nga ng ginawa ni Anthony, gin, nilagay niya sa table ang data na kanyang nag-gather. Ngayon, sa question number 4, how many more eggs were gathered on the second week than the first week? So, ilang egg daw, ilang egg ang mas marami, uh, ilang mas marami na egg, paano ba yan in state, ang nag-gather niya sa second week compare sa first week. So, ngayon, titingnan natin ang ating data. Ang nag-gather niya dito sa first week ito, ang nag-gather niya naman sa second week is ito. Para makuha natin kung ilan dito ang sa first week at ilan ang sa second week, so ang gagawin natin is i-add natin itong sa first week at sa second week. Para makita natin kung saan ang mas marami, i-add natin. So, ito yung first week natin, 25, 30, 28, 30, 35. I-add natin siya. 5 plus 5 is, ah, sorry, 5 plus 0 equals 5, plus 8 is equal to 13, plus 0 is equal to 13, plus 5 is equal to 18. So, bring down 8, carry 1. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, plus 3 is equal to 6, plus 2 is equal to 8, plus 3 is equal to 11, plus 3 is equal to 14. So, ibig sabihin, ang first week natin is 148 na egg. Dito naman tayo sa second week. So, 0 plus 5 equals 5, plus 8 equals 13, plus 5 equals 18, plus 3 is equal to 21. So, bring down 1, carry 2. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, plus 2 is equal to 7, plus 2 is equal to 9, plus 3 is equal to 12, plus 3 is equal to 15. So, this is our second week. Ibig sabihin, ang second week natin is 151. Ang first week is 148. Now, balik tayo sa ating question. 
Ang ating question is kung gaano daw kadami ba ang nakuha niya sa second week or gaano ang mas uh, mas marami sa second week compare sa first week. So dahil ang second week natin is 151, ang first week is 148, ang gagawin natin para makita natin kung ilan yung lamang ng second week sa first week, isubtract natin si 151, isubtract natin si 148 kay 151. And so, 1 minus 8 cannot be. So, magbaro siya ng 1 kay 5. So, si 1 maging 11. Si 5 is magiging 4. So, 11 minus 8 is equal to 3. 4 minus 4 equals 0. 1 minus 1 equals 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang answer ng ating number 4, how many more eggs were gathered on the second week than the first week is 3. Question number 5. What day is the most eggs gathered in 2 weeks? So, saan kaya na mga araw dito ang may pinakamaraming nakuha na eggs? Sa Monday, 25 and 30, i-add natin siya is 55. So, isulat natin dito. 55 yung sa Monday. And then sa Tuesday, 30 plus 25 is also 55. And then 28 plus... Sa so Wednesday, 28 plus 28 is equal to 56. Sa Thursday, 30 plus 35 is equal to 65. And then sa Friday is 35 and 33 is equal to 68. So saan yung mas may pinakamaraming nakuha na egg? Sa Friday. So ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin dito is what is uh, what day is the most eggs gathered in two weeks? Friday yung sagot natin. Kasi si Friday yung may mas pinakamaraming egg na nag-gather. Another example tayo. So, meron tayo ditong favorite snacks of boys and girls. Meron ditong snacks. So, ang snacks nila is sandwich, puto, bread, cake, and suman. Ang boys is, ang may gusto ng sandwich, 10. Sa girls is 15. Sa puto naman, 12 yung boys, 14 ang girls. Sa bread, 14 ang boys, 10 yung girls. Sa cake, 16 ang may gusto ng cake. Sa boys, 20 naman sa girls. Mahilig talaga ng sweet yung girls, no? Sa suman, si boys is 17. Tapos si girls is 13. Now, I-answer natin ang mga questions para maintindihan natin ang ating data dito. Number one, what is the data about? So, saan, tungkol saan itong data na nandito sa ating table? So, this is about the favorite snacks of boys and girls. So, isusulat niya siya ang sagot. Ito yung sagot natin sa number one, favorite snacks of boys and girls. Now, let's go to number two, question number two. Okay, so what snack got the highest choice among the girls? So ano daw na snack ang may pinakamaraming gusto ng girls or may pinakamarami na may gusto sa girls? So titingnan natin ang ating data. Ito yung girls natin. So saan ba ang may pinakamaraming may gusto dito? 15, 14, 10, 20, 13. So si 20. So ibig sabihin, ano yung snack na may pinakamaraming gusto ng girls? Si cake. Kasi si cake ay 20 ang may gusto. So ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin sa number 2 is cake. Okay, so number three, what is the least favorite snacks of boys? Okay, so ano daw yung may pinakamaliit na gusto, na may gusto sa snacks ng boys? Okay, so titingnan natin ang boys. Ang sandwich is 10, ang puto is 12, ang bread is 14, ang cake is 16, at ang suman is 17. So saan ang may uh, konti lang na may gusto sa snacks, sa klase ng snacks sa boys? Itong si 10. So, si 10 is sandwich. Ibig sabihin, ang may pinaka-least favorite ng snack ng boys ay ang sandwich. What about the girls? So, ang girls naman, saan yung may maliit lang na may gusto sa snack? Okay, titingnan natin si girls. Ang sandwich, 15, puto, 14, bread, 10, cake, 20, suman, 13. So, ibig sabihin, ang girls, may pinaka-maliit na gusto na snack is ang bread. Okay. Ito na yung sagot natin, sandwich for boys and bread for girls. So question number four, how many boys were surveyed about their favorite snacks? So ibig sabihin, ilang boys ba yung nasali sa ating survey? So ang gagawin natin para makita natin ang data is itotal natin lahat ng boys dito para makita natin kung ilan sila lahat. So i-add natin siya. 0 plus 2 equals 2, plus 4 is equal to 6, plus 6 is equal to 12, plus 7 is equal to 19, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, plus 1 is equal to 3, plus 1 is equal to 4, plus 1 is equal to 5, plus 1 is equal to 6. 69. So, ibig sabihin, ang total ng boys na nasali sa ating survey is 69. So, isusulat natin ang 69. Question number 5. What snack is the highest choice among the boys? So, saan yung snack ang may pinakamarami na gusto ng boys? Titingnan natin. So, saan ba ang may pinakamalaki dito? Si... 17. So, ibig sabihin si Suman yung may mas maraming gusto na, snack, na klase ng snacks among the boys. So, ang sagot natin dito is Suman. 
Ganyan lang kadali ang ating lesson guys. Sana may natutunan tayo. See you on our next lesson. Bye!